Is it worth it for you guys to be opening eggs in Pet Simulator 99 going into update 7? The answer to that question is that it really depends. The answer to that question is going to be different for the vast majority of you, but for probably about 80 to 90% of you, the answer is probably going to be no. In this video, I'm about to go over those reasons on why it's just not worth it for the vast majority of people in this game to really be opening eggs, as well as some examples of when it actually is worth it for some people to be opening eggs. And then we'll just go over information about egg opening in general. If this video helps you to decide whether or not to open eggs, consider subscribing as well as liking the video. It helps out tremendously. If you do play the game and are interested in winning some lucrative giveaways for some huge pets, consider joining the Discord. Link will be down below. It is absolutely free to join and we do daily giveaways on there. We also have a good staff team that can help you with whatever pet simulator questions you might have. It'd mean a lot if you guys joined. Let's get right into it though so you guys can determine whether or not you should be opening eggs. Now one important thing to know is that Pet Simulator 99 is a game of being AFK. And if you aren't able to leave your device on and grind whether that be opening eggs or just farming the last area, it's just not really going to be worth it overall for you to even try. Because of how fast the economy is moving, being able to AFK the game is basically the bare minimum requirement you're going to have to even have a chance at being successful in this game. Now in update 6, we actually did get a free to play way to upgrade your egg opening, which does make it a bit easier and overall better to open eggs as a free to play player. Because you get access to stuff like the 3% chance to get golden pets, a 1% chance to get rainbow pets, as well as a bunch of free bonus egg slots, which would cost you a lot, especially if you're starting out. Now, this isn't my opening account. I don't even have level 70 on here, but leveling this up does give you that chance to get the golden rainbow pets, which makes it a lot better for you to be opening because you can get those really nice stat pets that are going to boost your damage a lot. Or you could just sell them. And it does give you a chance to get a rainbow or a gold version of those huges that you're trying to open. Which does make it a little bit more lucrative. But overall, it is my opinion that if you do not have the huge hunter game pass, overall it's just not going to be worth it at all for you guys to be opening eggs. I have an account that's opening eggs 24-7 pretty much. And that account has all of the game passes for opening eggs. And at one point on that account... I didn't get a single huge for almost three weeks of opening 24-7. And the huge 100 game pass gives you an additional 2,500% chance at getting that huge. So if we do the math here, 21 days times 25 for those additional chances we get from using the huge 100 game pass. And that would have took me 525 days before I got a huge. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys understand what I'm kidding at here. It can be such a rare chance to get a huge sometimes that... Spending all of your time opening just to get one huge like that, you could have been grinding and then just bought multiple huges with all that stuff that you were able to grind. Now, sometimes, obviously, it's going to take a lot shorter of a time to open a huge. That's just going to depend on what your luck is. I'm sure a lot of you that are free to play and don't have the huge hunter game pass have probably opened up a huge before. So don't storm the comments and say that I'm wrong. It really is up to chance, but. I just want to show you that you could legitimately open for a whole year with and not get a single huge. So that's why it's just not worth it, in my opinion, for you guys to be opening eggs. Now, moving on to the huge hunter game pass. Now, if you do decide that the one thing you want to do in Pet Simulator 99 is just open your own huge and have it be your own because you actually opened it, which is a very reasonable take. That's why I bought it on my other account. I really wanted to open my own huge. And I think since I've started playing, I've opened about seven or eight huges in total. But if you do decide that you want to do that, the only thing I suggest is that you actually buy all of the stuff that has to do with opening eggs. Because while you're opening eggs, the lucky and the ultra lucky game pass are going to enable you to get those better stat pets. And that's going to make you a lot of diamonds in the long run because you're going to be able to sell all of those stat pets. And then, of course, the Magic Eggs Game Pass is going to enable you to get all of those huges and, st and stat pets in the gold and rainbow fashion. 
So that's going to increase the overall value of those pets that you're opening as well. And then even the 15 hatch eggs is extremely important. Honestly, this is probably the second most important one after the huge hunter game pass. Because the more eggs you're able to open like every 3 seconds I think it is. The total amount that you open is increased dramatically by adding an additional 15 hatch eggs. Plus if you're starting out these 15 hatch eggs are often very expensive. So you're actually getting a decent value for the robux. Now if you do end up buying these lucky game passes. Every single update, the day the update comes out, those stat pets are worth a lot of diamonds. Just by getting to the final area and beginning to open those final eggs. If you get lucky and get one of the best stat pets, those are worth millions and millions of diamonds right on day one. So that's just another reason it might be worth it to you. And really quickly, if you are looking to get your egg mastery up the quickest, the number one way to do that is actually opening the exclusive eggs. These give you a ton of rep in the egg opening mastery. So I wouldn't tell you guys to go out and buy them with Robux or anything. But if you do have extra diamonds and you do want to speed run this as fast as possible, that's just going to be the best way to level this up quickly. I definitely wouldn't say it's worth it. But I know some of you that do have a lot of diamonds already are willing to take the gamble as well as level up your egg mastery. So... There are some pretty good benefits to leveling this up, such as these bonus egg slots, faster opening speeds, as well as cheaper eggs. So you can be opening eggs for even longer without having to go back to the final area and grind more coins. And then as well, when you are opening eggs, it is very important that you are using an auto clicker. This is me opening without an auto clicker. And then I'm going to turn my auto clicker on here. You could just tell how much faster it is using the auto clicker compared to no auto clicker. I did a test a while back and I was able to open these eggs about 20% faster, I believe. And if you're doing this overnight, this is so important because you're going to be able to open 20% more eggs that's going to give you a 20% better chance at getting that huge that you desire. And then my last tip to you guys would be, if you are going to buy the Huge Hunter Game Pass, you're definitely going to want to use that account to solely open eggs on, and that's it. It's just so expensive to buy with Robux. You are definitely going to want to dedicate 100% of your grinding time to opening those eggs so you can get the best chance possible at getting those huges. Now, for example... I actually have three accounts, so I have one account that is constantly opening eggs like I was telling you guys, and then I have one that is always grinding in the last area, making me some juicy, juicy diamonds. And then finally, I have this account that I'm on right now, and this is solely my trading account. So this account's almost always in the trading plaza, and that's why I do not have max rank on this account. My other two accounts that grind are max rank, obviously. And then that one account that is opening 24-7 just is using magnet flags in the final area to keep getting more and more coins as it is opening. And then obviously it also has huge hunter enchants on just so we can get the max chance at getting one of those huges. And then two to three shiny hunter books I believe. That's going to enable you to have the best possible odds of getting those huge pets and truly getting the value out of that huge hunter game pass. Personally if I were to start all over again I probably wouldn't have bought this huge hunter game pass. When I first started playing I just thought it would be really awesome if I was able to open my own huge. So that was pretty much my own goal and I'm sure a lot of you guys would have the same goal so if that is the case i would just follow those tips that i gave you in this video now i hope i was able to give you guys some insight into opening eggs and give you some decent information that you can use if this stuff helped you please like the video and subscribe to the channel make sure you're joined up on the discord for those daily giveaways i will see you guys in the next one and peace out